The building once operated as a private psychiatric care facility for the disabled. After years of being abandoned, the building was then reopened as a commercial haunted house. Now once again, the building is closed and the community is doing all they can to try and save it. It seemed like the beginning of the end for Ashmore Estates as straight line winds destroyed the roof back in late January. Now under new ownership, the community hopes to bring Ashmore Estates back from the dead. Is everybody to give up on this place? It's really important to the community. It's been here since 1916 and before that it was other buildings here. So it's it's been around a long time. It's going to be around a long time. It brings a lot of revenue from all over. People come from several states, some from other places in the country. Uh, to see Ashmore because Ashmore has a reputation of being haunted. Ashmore Estates owners Robert Burton and Ella Richards, along with the community, put together a fundraiser in high hopes of getting Ashmore Estates back on its feet. I just want to see a roof get put on the building and make it safer, you know, and no more damage to the inside of the building. Every penny of what we raised today is going towards putting a new roof on Ashmore. The owners say the plan is to have the new roof completed by winter. But will it be just in time for the Halloween season? We're having a haunt this year, roof or not. In the hopes of trying to save the Ashmore Estates, there'll be food and live bands out here tonight from 4 until midnight. In Ashmore, I'm Lauren Rainson for WAND News.